Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your guy Keenan Lambert. I just touched down here in Montreal. Now, I'm not staying in Montreal. I'm actually heading out to Cuba, but we're here right now. I just wanted to have some conversations with you guys about the channel, moving forward, how we're gonna do things, and so forth. The underpinnings of this channel are getting into the history, trying the food, speaking to the people, getting a sense of what their social existence is like. Now there's that type of content, and then there's the shit, okay? With the shit being the chica chica type of content. Now, I do enjoy making nightlife content, however it's not my preferred thing that I'd like to do, okay? I like to do the historical stuff, you guys know. Now, the statistics, right, which you guys don't see, what I see, shows that you guys like looking at women. You, did you guys know that you're actually about two and a half times more likely to click on a thumbnail that has a woman in it, as opposed to me? You guys don't love me. Despite that fact, I still love you guys, and I'm going to deliver the type of content that you guys want to watch. So that means more chicas, okay? Now, I don't engage in the pay-for-play thing, you guys know that, but I will dabble into showing you some aspects of it or potentially interviewing a lady of the night or two. We'll see. So in 2024, we're really just gonna double down and do more of everything. We're gonna do more nightlife. We're gonna do more chats. We're gonna do more historical social stuff. Okay, we're not gonna really see any change there. And I'm also gonna allow you guys to sort of have some input in, in things that I do. You know what? I actually really, really, really wanna travel to Sub-Saharan Africa, okay, so Nigeria, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, Gambia, Sierra Leone, okay, definitely not Liberia right now because Liberia is a little bit mixy. Now, I really want to get down there, however, when looking at the analytics, it seems that a lot of people just do not watch African content, okay? I don't know if it's you know, people are not interested in seeing women from Africa, or if they're scared, they feel like it's a place that they would never travel to, but there definitely is an Africa bias. And, you know, although you guys are great, I love you guys, you guys are my heart, I still want to grow our viewership, right? Maybe you guys can help me in that, in putting your friends on. Don't tell them to subscribe, okay? But tell them, hey, look at this, this guy, Keenan Lambert. He goes to different places, he talks about socioeconomic things and he also shows us the ladies to a degree okay and if they're interested maybe they'll stick around okay I need you guys to be the ambassadors for the channel you know sure the channel is in my name but I feel like you know the channel is bigger than me okay I'm just a messenger you guys you guys the channel really belongs to you guys and you know you guys actually help me you guys help me in extending the reach of the channel and you know honestly that's a dream to be able to speak to the world to be able to speak to you guys to come to you while you're at work during the lunch break or at home late at night after you're winding down you guys tune in and watch me like that that means the world to me i see it in the analytics and i really appreciate it you know and although i'm the only one that could speak you know directly over videos as well as guests that i invite to the videos i want you guys to remember the comment box is where you guys voice how you feel okay and i really appreciate the comments that you guys leave it helps me you know, take take a test of the temperature and sometimes you guys really give me some good suggestions or at times if i get something a little bit wrong you guys correct me and you know the base the way how i'm hardwired i probably still think i'm correct right <laughs> no no I'm, I'm just playing i'm just playing if you guys correct me i'm on it you know, something that I love hearing about in the comments or, you know, maybe you guys might hit me up message-wise on Instagram is where I mention something on the channel, then you do more research about it and you're interested in it and you go further with that research. And maybe I actually influence you to maybe go and see a country firsthand. That, that is something that, you know, does a lot for me. Okay, it lets me know that this channel is hitting in the way how I intended it to. There are a lot of folks that are told implicitly or explicitly that you have to have a lot of money in order to travel. And I tell you, if you live in Europe, 
If you live in the United States, that is BS. Due to the proliferation of low-cost airlines, travel is not expensive, my friend. Okay, you can travel for the low. Okay, right now, I'm going from, you know, central downtown Montreal to the airport in just a second. And I'm going to take the bus. I'm not going to take an Uber. For what? That balloons the price by, I don't know, maybe five times. You know, when you're militant in sort of, you know, controlling for costs, it'll allow you in the long run to travel. And, you know, say you do have the money for travel. When you're militant in controlling costs, it allows you to multiply your travel experience, okay? Maybe you might go to Cuba and I realize, oh crap, I spent half of what I could have spent. So let me add a Mexico on top of it. There are many of you that will refuse, or maybe not many of you, but there are a lot of people in society who will refuse to take a low-cost airline. Okay, the reason why is, oh, well, the seats suck, or they don't allow you a lot of baggage. How much baggage do you really need? How much baggage do you really need? Should baggage be the reason why you don't take a trip? Okay, so say you, you know, you are allowed the baggage allotment that you would ideally prefer, and then you have to spend $400 more for the same ticket. Is it worth it at that point? It doesn't have to be ideal. It just has to work. Okay. Before I get out of here, I actually want to address something. Um, it's with the Passport Pro community. Now, initially, I identified with a heavy as it was a group of mainly men of color that uh, traveled and they were building an infrastructure for travel for other brothers. Over time, it became very much you know, sex involved and you know, relationship and woman involved. And that's where it kind of, I don't know, where I felt myself straying. Um, away from the community. Now, that's that's all well and good, that's fine. However, abroad, I'm noticing that women are using that desperation that a lot of guys go abroad with against them, right? In some of the worst case scenarios in Colombia, we've seen some people lose their lives. So, I just want you guys to be careful when you're going out there and do not press, okay? Do not press. Go out, have fun, and allow it to come to you, all right? In a few hours, I'll be back in the land of unlimited rum and no behavior. I'd like to tell you guys that you guys are the best subscribers in the world. I wouldn't trade you for anybody else. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Peace.